Hello, today's video is on stock number 35700BX. It's a uh, acrylic case for the Creative Clock, our stock number 35490. Uh, it's just a case. Uh, this is just a quick video on how to assemble it. And uh, basically it will come like this in a bag with the instructions, hardware, and the pieces themselves with the, uh, the paper on them, the scratch coat on the acrylic. I've gone ahead and taken that off, so save some time here. Uh, you have the back plate, which you'll see has a cutout for the buttons and the USB uh, port. That uh, it's actually slightly off center, so either one way or the other will fit better um, when you assemble it. So just keep that in mind. If you can't get to the USB, you probably put it on backwards. Uh, you have the face plate. Uh, and you have the four sides. Now two of them are longer. It's a little difficult to see. I know they're clear. And two of them are shorter. That's important that you keep them separate. It has to do with how the how well the corners fit. Uh, if you try to do a long and a long, the, the corners won't match. So you need to use either you know two shorts, two longs, or vice versa. But you know they must be facing each other. Uh, you have four standoffs that are male female, and four standoffs that are female to female, and eight screws. Okay, let's let's get started. Like I said, this this is not included. This is just a demonstration. Like I said, you kind of look at it and line it up. Looks like that might go a little. Yeah, I think that that weighs a little better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Put the first screw through, and on the back half you use the studs, male, female. Pretty simple, straightforward. And you don't have to make them super tight because this is acrylic. You can't crack it. Okay, once you have them all in all four corners, you can take your clock. Like I said, that's the larger slot is for the buttons, and the, the smaller one is for the USB. So you should line it up, snaps in place. Now you use the dual female standoffs. That will block the, the clock in place. And you see how that USB port pretty much lines up in the center like that once you get the correct position. Uh, it might be easier to program the clock before you put it in the box. You can have access to the buttons, but they're a little difficult to reach in there with big fat fingers. Okay, now for the difficult part. On the sides, like I said, you have to have the, I mean, getting the two shorter ones here. And the slots. Look for the slots and they fit right in place. Then you take the two longer ones. And now you can kind of see how the corners fit together like that. If you were to try to put two, you know, two long ones at a right angle, there just wouldn't be the space for it. Okay, now let's this is the hardest part. All the little grooves to line up. Everybody but the last one. And all right, now we're all in place. All little all eight grooves are, are in place. Let's 
Very good. Like I said, don't over tighten them because you can crack the acrylic. Okay, uh, that is how you assemble it. Sometimes the little corners are sharp. I don't know if you want to try sanding that a little bit, but. Uh, and where did my USB cable go? As you see, it fits in place nicely now. And it's as easy as that. Thank you for watching our video.